Hello everyone, welcome to another episode. On this episode, I'm going to talk about the differences between the regular SP01 here and the SP01 Shadow 1. I did put some Cajun Gunworks parts in my SP01 here to try and make it a little bit nicer to see how much nicer it could get to the Shadow 1. And I'm going to talk about the results that I got and if you can buy the regular SP01 here and Cajunize it and make it just as nice as the regular Shadow 1. First, let's go over the differences between the two. So, here are the factory parts that are CZ that have been changed to Cajun Gunworks parts. These are some of the parts that are improvement here in the Shadow 1, but not all of them. So, some of the parts externally between the two are obviously different, and I'll go over that first and foremost. So, let's start off with the visuals. The safeties are different. The manual safeties is different. One is the competition style, one is the regular style. Both are ambi on both pistols, but one is a little bit nicer than the other and a little bit more user friendly. It has that big ledge on it and it is very easy to use. While I have this in my hand, you see the magazine rela release is like twice the size that it is on the regular SP01 here. It's really shallow on the SP01 compared to the SP01 Shadow or the Shadow 1. The hammer is enhanced here on the Shadow 1 compared to the regular SP01. It's a lot bigger and wider. It may be hard to tell, but I think you can see the one on my left hand is definitely bigger and wider than the one on my right. The trigger on the Shadow 1 is stainless steel and has a screw here to adjust the reset. I haven't messed with that too much. I've tightened it a little bit, but I don't really like messing with it too much because I don't want to shorten the reset. It's already short enough as it is. This comes with black sights in the rear and fiber optic front sight. I did change the sights on my SP01 to night sights. They're true glow night sights. It would regularly have a fiber optic front sight with just a three dot white or two dot white in the rear. I've also changed the grips on both of them to G10 grips. They both come with cheap uh, either plastic or rubber grips. This one has the firing pin block safety. It's been removed here on the Shadow 1 to smooth out the trigger function. So it is a little bit nicer functionality wise. And I do think that is one thing that you're not going to be able to change with the Cajun Gunworks. Somebody did make a, a comment on mine that they found a way to neutralize it, but I don't know how he did that or whatnot, and I wouldn't recommend messing with it, but there is people that are good at tinkering with things, so right off the bat, you notice that it's not the same. The serrations are uh, pretty much identical, but because of the firing pin block not being here, this one does have a little bit of a different texture to it because this one has, obviously, the hole through it. But the slide lever releases are the same, the front serrations are the same, the uh, accessory rail is the same, trigger guards the same, grips are the same, grip texturing is the same. This one has a lanyard, this can be replaced, this one doesn't have it, this is out of stock, Cajun Gunworks. The magazines, this is a 19 round magazine that you get with the SP01, this is a 17 round magazine with a plus 2 extension on it, 40 on one side. Nine on the other, these are the competition style magazines because you can switch the barrel to 40 cal and shoot major division with this one. So a little bit different on the magazines and some things that you can't see between the two is this one releases the magazines really weakly. They barely come out. It just barely pushes them out. It doesn't matter which magazine that you use in the regular SP01, whether it's the competition one or the regular one it does the same thing it's kind of annoying but with this one shoots them shoots them out doesn't matter which magazine it is it'll do it with 75b 16 round magazines as well so there's something nicer too about the uh, magazine release and how it functions so after i've put the cajun gunworks parts in my sp01 it's still not as nice as the shadow one, but it's a little bit closer. I still don't like the trigger angle, how curved it is on either, but 
changing these parts has made this night and day better and this is only a $50 investment. So I do think it's possible to buy the regular SPO1 and Cajunize it and make it a lot nicer than what it comes from the factory. But I think that the regular SPO1 Shadow 1 is still nicer than if you put some Cajun Gunworks parts like I have. Maybe if you go with the full Pro Kit, maybe then, but even then you wouldn't have the same safeties or magazine release and the sighting system, it would be still the factory sighting system. So I do think that if you're able to find one of these for under a thousand like I did, that it's a way better value. This one I got for just under 700. So depending on how good you are too with tinkering with stuff and if you have the proper tools, I wouldn't recommend attempting this if you're not very good with your hands. And um, there's a lot of little parts, little springs you have to do things in a specific order, and I really wouldn't want you to damage or break anything. Now the parts to get from Cajun Gunworks are actually pretty cheap, so it is easy if you lose some springs or whatnot to just get replacements. So it's not a huge cost, but you do have to have some knowledge and firearm specific tools to work with. Now I'm gonna talk about some of the springs that I changed to basically try to make this a little bit nicer and the effect that it had. So this is the recoil spring that's factory. It's like 20 pounds. It currently has like a, a 12 pound spring in it. So it's a lot nicer. This one, I think it comes with like a 14 pound spring. So I do have a lighter recoil spring in the regular SPL one than comes in the shadow one. I also have a 10 pound spring that's in my 75B that's lighter than both of these. So that's one of the things that these are $6 a piece. This is an immediate upgrade. This it makes it so much harder to pull the slide back, it's ridiculous. This is the spring that goes on the firing pin. This is the trigger return spring, goes right here. I also changed the pin that's hollow that everybody complains about that's gonna break for the full stainless steel one. And then this is the hammer spring here. So you can get more parts for Cajun Gunworks, you can get the Pro Parts Kit that includes the trigger, the sear cage, a few more parts in the sear cage, but you have to know that you're going to Loctite it, and Loctite that sear cage in there. So depending on how much you want to go and Cajunize it, it could be, you know, not worth it or too much or too difficult for you. This is really easy. This is something that I think most people could do. So. I think that if you just want to enhance your SPO one, I think that that's better than if you're trying to make it as equal to the regular shadow one. I think that you can enhance this, but you can't make it identical to this. There's a few too many parts differences and it would just cost too much and I don't think it would be as practical. They're two different firearms. They're very similar, same platform, but one is competition ready and one is just due to use. So, it is very nice, both of them. Now with the Cajun Gunworks parts here, the slide is so much easier to pull back. You can do press checks with it, no problem. The trigger pull on it now in single action is three and a half pounds. Double action, I don't know because I don't have the gauge that goes that high. So I do know that it's three and a half pounds. It still has that huge amount of take up that they all have. Even the Shadow One has this, but the brake is a lot more smooth now. The reset, a lot more smooth. It still doesn't reset as short as the Shadow one, but it's a lot more enhanced than regular out of the box. So the slide is easy to pull back with this one. The press checks I can still do, but this recoil spring is a little heavier than what's in here now. I do like these safeties better. They're so much easier to use than the other one because it has that huge ledge and your hand naturally just sits right there. So it's boom, 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 boom. Not having the firing pin block really does smooth out the action and the trigger pull on this one, it still has the same squishy trigger for the take up, but the reset you'll notice. So the pull is shorter and you can make it the reset with the screw shorter. So you see how much shorter the reset is. So there's a way big difference between the competition and then the slightly souped up SPO one. 
you can go harder with the Cajun Gunworks parts, but I think what I did here for what I paid for works. If you paid twice the price that I did for this, or it's like $1,500, then it been, wouldn't be worth it. But if you can get it for under a thousand, I would definitely just buy the Shadow One. This was a fun project to do, but I don't think I would do any more than this. Um, I did change the actual firing pin on my 75B, but I didn't change the hammer. Um, I don't really notice a difference. They said that was one of the weak points too. I don't really notice. These things have eaten anything and everything. Um, the only malfunction I can talk about is failure to feed. And that could be with, you know, any little thing. So no problems with stove pipes or anything like that. So it eats pretty much anything, no problem. And even after I messed with the springs. So the reliability with the Cajun Gunworks parts, I've had no problems whatsoever. I just think that there's a limitation that what you should do if you want to have a competition style 75 series, they're selling the Shadow 2 now. They're on sale for under $1,000 if you look online. So there's no point in buying a $700 gun and then putting $300 or more into it and then trying to make it the same. I, I think you should just go for this because you're going to send, spend the same amount of money, but it comes from the factory ready to go like this and you don't have to tinker with this. I spent a lot of time tinkering with this and it's not as easy as your polymer pistols. The Glock I can take apart in my sleep. This one is a little bit more to it, and there's a lot of little pieces. Like, do you notice that there's a little pin right here? Well, I didn't put that back in there, and it's not really that big of a deal, but it has to do with the detente here with the safety. So I had to take it all apart just to put that little stupid piece back in there because it's supposed to be in there, and it has a function, even though it's not... I don't think it's the end of the world if it's not in there, but it's designed to be there too. So there's lots of little springs and little parts to it. So I definitely recommend having proper gunsmithing tools or a proper space or somebody to help you. Definitely watch the Cajun Gunworks video on the regular SPO1 assembly and disassembly. That will help you with the regular 75 series and you'll be able to change anything on them, no problem. So thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more light content.